Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Scent Cloud. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Um, real quick today, I want to talk about a fragrance that I'm kind of excited about. It's my favorite time of the year, um, springtime. It's time to break out, you know, the lighter, brighter, fresher, fruitier scents that I that I tend to like more. Um, so let's jump right into it. Today, I'm talking about Azaro's Chrome Aqua. Pretty cool bottle. It has this kind of textured kind of felt material on the outside, which is pretty cool. And of course, we have the bottle right here. Pretty cool frosted bottle. So, a um, little information about the scent. Um, it was released in 2019, classified as an aromatic aquatic. Um, the notes at the top, we have green apple, grapefruit, and a violet leaf. In the middle, we have sea notes, uh, mint, and basil. And at the base, we have vetiver and cypress. So, what you're going to get with this scent um, opens up very, very fruity. Um, like I said, the top notes, grapefruit and apple, opens up very fruity, very bright, very fresh. Um, but also, it's very green, which kind of doesn't make sense because of the name aqua, you would think would be a very blue scent. Um, but it is kind of blue, I guess you can say. Um, because of the C notes in the mids, but like I said, opens up very fruity, very bright, very fresh. But once you get past that fruitiness, um, you're hit with kind of a sea salty, kind of oceanic, but a very aromatic uh, scent when it comes to uh, those mids in the base with the basil, the mint, the cypress, and the vetiver. So um, if you go into this uh, scent expecting to be like um, a more blue scent, um, I guess you, you, you can kind of get there with that, but I would say this is definitely a more green scent than it is a blue scent, uh, more aquatic scent. When I mean, it is aquatic, but um, um, more in the opening in the mids than it is for the, the, the part of the fragrance that lasts the longest, which is, is, is in the base. Um, but still a good scent. Um, just, uh, it's just a weird name. To call it uh, aqua it should have been called like chrome green or something like that chrome uh herbal or something like that because that's what it is because those herbal aromatic notes in the middle but um still a very good scent um i would see myself wearing this one more in the summertime and then springtime but because this one is so fresh and so green you can probably make this one a year-round scent um you can wear this one in the warmer months i mean the colder months too because of that greenness, um, because of that freshness, it's going to be inoffensive. You're going to smell fresh. Um, you're not going to offend anybody because, you know, who, who doesn't want to smell, you know, fresh, um, green, kind of minty. Um, that's the kind of scent you're going to get with aqua. Um, but like I said, opens up fresh, opens up fruity. That fruitiness kind of lasts anywhere between, let's say, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I did sit, spray it on a scent strip about an hour ago. And at least on paper, um, the fruitiness lasted a little longer than on skin. Um, on paper, uh, I probably got like 30, maybe 40 minutes of that kind of fruity, oceanic vibe before it kind of died down and got um, a little peppery. But on skin, like I said, that, uh, that fruitiness lasts for maybe 20, 30 minutes before it gets into those C notes and those aromatic notes of the, the basil and the mint. And it, it gets a little peppery because of that, um, those earthy kind of spicy notes with the vetiver and the cypress. Um, but still, like I said, overall good scent. Um, I, I would definitely suggest this one as a year round scent. It would probably perform way better um, in the warmer months, spring, summer. But um, I can definitely see myself wearing this one year round just because, you know, when it gets cold, I can probably, you know, just want to smell fresh and smell, you know, like the summertime and pull this one out and it still have uh, a little bit of longevity to it. Um, I'm hoping that's what it is. Even though I did buy this one in the dead of winter, I didn't wear it because I just didn't think um, it would be suited for that. But now that I'm smelling it, I think the the base notes of Cypress and Vetiver can, vetiver can, can hold its own um, in the colder months. But this will definitely shine a lot more, probably push out a lot more in the, the warmer months. Um, as far as occasion, year-round, anywhere. Um, wear this on the work, wear this on casual, 
um, maybe a beach date or you know some kind of beach function. Um, maybe not so much formal, but wear what you want to wear when you wear it. You know what I mean? Um, it's price for this one very affordable. For this 100 ml, um, I think I paid about 40, 42 bucks for it. I'm on the discount site, so that's pretty good for this size bottle. Um, I might end up buying a backup bottle just maybe later on if the price holds steady. Um, I can see myself wearing this one just to kind of spray on, just to kind of smell good without worrying about, you know, wasting money every spray. Um, like I said, very affordable, nice bottle, attractive scent, fresh, fruity opening, green, sea salty, kind of spicy dry down. Um, yeah, I think it's a real good scent. Um, yeah, Chrome Aqua, guys. Didn't want to take up too much of your time today. Just want to talk about that one real quick. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Like always, like this video, leave a comment if you have some experience with this one, and uh, subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you guys the next time. Peace.